as it warms up, we know you're gonna wanna take your workouts outdoors. So today, we're gonna show you five moves that you can take outside to get a boot camp style workout. Let's do it. Now this is a total body move. You're gonna be using some shoulders, abs, and legs. Awesome. Here. All right, you just need a bench for it so that you have something to put your hands on to support your body weight. Your feet step back from the bench a little bit. You're gonna pop off the balls of the feet and tuck your knees in towards your chest. Mm -hmm. You wanna put most of that body weight right over those hands so you're stabilizing with your right, shoulders. Right, and you're driving your knees almost up into your shoulders. Yes. So like, like almost like a handstand. Almost like you're going into a handstand here. You're gonna tuck. Good, lifting those hips. She's using her abdominals, squeeze those knees in towards the chest, good. And she's staying on the balls of her feet, so she's working a little bit of that lower body. So you wanna come away from the bench with your knees bent at 90. You want your hands directly behind your shoulders, so you don't want them too wide, mm -hmm. right here next to your hips. You're gonna drop into a bench dip, keep your back close to the bench, come up, Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips into a bridge. So it's down and it's up. All right? Love it. So combining the two. Okay. Good. So hands knees, under my yep. shoulders, knees bent, right. 90 degree angle. Good. Good. And gliding right along that bench. Good. Keeping your shoulders safe. Beautiful. Good. So you're getting that tricep and shoulder work, Love and it. then you're getting the glutes, the hamstrings by lifting those mm -hmm. hips and going into a bridge. All right, so now we're really getting into the boot camp style nice. exercises. This one's great. So a lot of cardio conditioning and lower body. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start with a 10 yard distance about any open space you have. You wanna do a lateral shuffle. You're gonna go into three squat jumps so you're powering off those legs. Go for three, come all the way back and repeat it. So you're going back and forth, lateral shuffle, nice. stay low, Nice. work that lower body. And use whatever you have to mark those 10 yards. We totally. have our sweatshirts, so we just threw them down. Totally. Nice. All, All right, right, so, so here we stay go. Stay low, ready? Stay low. Okay. Shuffle it out, good. And then you're up for three. One, good. Two, being explosive, really get off the balls of the feet. Good, coming back, up, good, that's it. And she's staying low on that shuffle so that you're really working those quads and you're getting a lot of lower body work. Love it. Now this next move is a lot of core and upper body, my favorite. It's called the push-up crossover walk. So you start in a push-up position, your feet are together, you do a nice push-up coming down to the ground, then you're gonna step out, cross that arm over the other, and then back together, and then it's a push-up. And then on your way back, cross over and push up. So Here feet we go, together, feet. Yep. got your core in tight, push-up, crossover, working those cross shoulders, over. good. Push up, cross over. Okay, normally you could go about eight to 10 and then go back. So you're crossing over the other hand, over the top. So you're really working shoulders. She's working her core. She steps out and keeps that body in a nice push up position. Love Good it. job, Z. All right, now this kills the core. Back, abdominals, everything's working. It's called the spider crawl. You're gonna start in a push up position. Your feet can be about shoulder width apart. You want to try to stabilize those hips facing the ground as you bring your hand, opposite hand to foot, underneath the body. So you're just going back and forth, touching your nice. hand to your foot. That looks like a killer. This is a killer, so you really got to stabilize with those abs, not to let the hips rock back and forth. Good. The more you can keep those hips very squared up to the ground, the better. And the slower and more controlled you can do this move, the harder it's going to be. So if you wanted to modify this, you could touch that elbow to the knee, versus the foot to the hand so that you don't have to go as far. And it's a great way to start and learn this move, get stronger in your core. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Loved it. We'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.